In 1953, Donald Sangster, the Minister of Finance, comes to Parliament with a briefcase with information on the island's financial position and government's proposals for the immediate future. He will be creating history, for he will be the first elected member of the legislature to be fully responsible for presenting the island's budget, expanding the financial policy and defending the government's financial program. Formally, it was a duty divided between the governor and the minister of finance. In 1953, it's reported that recently the Gleaner brought to Jamaica foreign news serviced by radio teletype the electronic machine which records the airwaves and automatically types out the world news at 50 words a minute. Through the services of cable and wireless, the Gleaner is the first publication, indeed the first Jamaican organization, public or private, to bring in a photograph by radio. In 1960, Member of Parliament Maurice Cargill has resigned his seat in the Federal House of Representatives because he says he could no longer accept taxpayers' money as a federal representative of Jamaica in the support of something which he's convinced is harmful to the people of Jamaica. In 1983, Prime Minister Edward Siaga announces in a national broadcast that a greater number of items are to be placed on the parallel market exchange rate in an effort by the government to deal with the problem of reduced foreign exchange resources. And those were some significant events of June 15.